right, so I'm proud of Chico because Chico finally did it. He caught the little varmint that was coming in here and digging up all my seeds. I know I didn't do a video about it, but basically what was happening was uh, my seeds were getting, every time I planted my seeds, and we're talking hundreds of seeds, thousands of seeds, something was coming in and digging up my seeds and eating them all completely. Every single seed cubicle. Complete. I had to replant it twice already. Almost everything. Some of the stuff, no, but most of it, yeah. Cucumbers, tomato seeds, they were attacking the pepper seeds. And most of these seeds I'm pretty much out of. And I needed to do something really quick. So, so I got Chico in here. Chico sought out the problem, and this is part of it. So what's going on is... One thing I'm going to make a note of, and I know I need to change this, but I know I've said it many times, I'm selling the house, and I really don't want to spend too much more time trying to repair the greenhouse and making adjustments. I'm done. I'm getting ready to sell it. Whatever's left is left. Hopefully, I can sell it this year, maybe next year. But regardless, I'm not going to be keeping the place, so I really don't want to sink any more energy into the property. Yeah, this is probably something that I kind of have to do. I really have no choice, almost, at this point. I could probably get away with it the rest of this year if I could just get past the seed starting. And you can see I'm covering my all my seed bins up. Like there, I put a top on it. Here, I got it wrapped in plastic. The other side's wrapped in plastic. And if I could just get past that and get the seed sprouted, then I'm okay. But I'm also getting attacked by the birds coming in. And I really don't want to have to kill these birds because the ones specifically that are targeting my seeds are the yellow finches. I really don't want to have to dispatch any of the finches or anything like that. If it was those cackles or anything like that, yeah, I would probably, but there's really no way to kill them. I mean, well, I can't shoot them in here with anything because I blow holes through my greenhouse, so it's not going to be a problem I can deal with very easily. The best thing for me to do is to seal off the top. I'm just making a note of that, so if you ever have to make a decision, because the reason why that's like that is these panels were only 8 foot tall, and this was just over 8 feet, which I didn't really plan on it being a problem. But if I had a choice now, I would have preferred to have brought the panels all the way up to the ceiling height or as close to it as possible and gone through the extra trouble of just making sure everything was up snug and tight and not having that opening because I'll tell you once they start coming in it's a problem so it's something I never anticipated I never even thought about it being a problem but yeah it, it became a problem anyway that's another problem I'm dealing with is the birds I think one way to deal with that is to Get a bird feeder outside, and that could be that could be a double-edged sword, meaning one minute it's solving the problem, but next minute it's actually making it worse, because now you start bringing in birds from everywhere, and you know I, that doesn't necessarily solve the problem, but it might be a solution to some of the problem. Maybe I can get a bird feeder and put it out back by the back side of the yard, let all the birds go there, keep them away from the garden in here. I know people say, yeah, you want the birds in your garden to eat the bugs. Uh, trust me, you don't, you don't want them in, the, in here because once they come in here, that's it. So here's Chico. Chico, did you find another mouse? So what he did was is he went and sniffed out the mouse, and I had to help move everything out of the way so he could locate the mouse. And when he did, boy, he went to town. I am very proud of Chico. Chico did a really good job. So what was happening was, he's still sniffing that mouse, and that's good. I want him to get the scent of that mouse really good, because now he, he knows what to go after. See, I play with him too much with the toy mouse, and that's domesticating him too much, and it's that's actually not a good thing if you want your cat to be a mouser. And out here where I live, your cats need to be a mouser. They need to go and... They need to be able to get the mice because you need these animals here. You need the predatory animals to get rid of the, uh, the vermin. So what was happening was is I had 
these two things stacked up in the back over there, and I couldn't find this mouse. I'm like moving stuff around. I'm like, where's? Uh, he knows it. He knew it was there, right, Chico? Right, Chico? Uh, he knew it was there, and he kept going in there and going in there, and he knew it was in there. And finally, I was like, hey, what's under? What's under this thing? And I went to move this, and he went in there, and uh, he went and got him. If the mouse ran out. This mouse was so fast. I didn't even see the mouse jump out of there and hide behind the pots over there. But it, it, it even got away from him. But he waited in the corner, and I kind of spooked the mouse out from the backside, and he went and got him. Now, this mouse, you can see what it did. It was taking cotton and all kinds of stuff from all around the greenhouse and dragging it back into this little area that was underneath the other thing, the other uh, hose that I had. And built the nest in there. It was very safe inside of there. You, he destroyed the hose. You can see right there. He destroyed it. He ate a hole in there. And he was able to get in and out of here through that tiny little hole. And get in there. And he shoot a hole in there and destroyed the hose. And That's part of the problem possibly solved. I, I did leave poison out for him. Uh, now I got the poison in another part of the greenhouse. I really don't want... The, the cat to play around with the dead mice with the poison because I don't know if that poison's in him or not and I don't want to get my cat poisoned or anything or kill him even you know yeah I mean these field mice out here are really bad now I don't know what this is you want to take a look at it and tell me what you think this is I don't know if this is a vol give you a good shot of him now is that a vol this is belly I, I can't see inside the camera at all, so I have no idea what I'm looking at. Um, I'm under the impression it's a vault. It doesn't look like a field mouse. I, I've, I know what mice look like. The size of the ears on this thing. I'll try to give you a good, clear shot. The size of the ears kind of give it away, so I'm, I'm under the assumption it's a, a vault. The white belly on the bottom. You see the white belly? So, I'm under the impression that it's a vol and not. This thing is incredibly fast. You would never, I've never even got a chance. This is the first time I've seen this thing. With all the damage it's been going around here and doing. It's extremely fast. Not even my cat was able to catch it. We had to work together. Me and Chico had to work together to get this one vol. That's how incredibly fast this thing is. So, I'm assuming it's a vol anyway. It's more than a field mouse. This isn't just like this thing is unbelievably fast and, and, and agile. And they're all around the property. I even think I got one or two in the house now. You can't get rid of these things. Okay. They're very, very difficult to get rid of. I think the only thing you can use in that case is poison. And uh, again, I have the cat here and I really don't want him to play with the, the mouse that's poisoned. In fact, I'm worried about him going over there now. And finding it but yeah if you have a problem with these things you're really gonna have to deal with it because once they reproduce it they're hard to get rid of yeah I can't get rid of these things he's going over to it now you gotta be careful with them but yeah you, between these and the chipmunks they will definitely uh, no, Chico, don't, don't eat that. That's no good. Cause you a tremendous amount of damage. So now that I know all these things, I would have done things a little bit differently in my greenhouse. One of the problems I'm having that they're coming in from is underneath the door. They're able to move the wood chips away. Okay. All three of these doors got the same problem. They, they dig underneath the door and they get in. The other thing is, is I never ran enough of the plastic to the end of the door to finish so there's some gaps on the bottom so what I need to do that really won't cost me money I just got to get in here and do it is I got to put thresholds in that go from the bottom of the door to inside the ground where they can't just dig past it that has to be done these are things you really got to keep in mind when you're building the greenhouse which I again I didn't even consider also too on the bottom over here where it doesn't meet the ground the plastic part the birds 
that are coming into my greenhouse are also able to go, they go in underneath the door to come in here. I, I've never seen birds do that, but these birds up here will do this. So it's another issue. You have to make sure your greenhouse is really sealed from any of these predators that will come in here or vermin or whatever you want to call them. They will come in here and absolutely destroy your crops and it'll only get worse and worse and worse and you have to deal with it somehow, even if you have to put out poison. So to avoid all them problems, in a nutshell, is what I'm saying is you have to make sure that your greenhouse is well sealed, not maybe not perfectly, but good enough sealed where you don't have gap top of your greenhouse like that. Your ventilation holes are screened off. So when the vent opens up during the daytime, there's still a screen in there, keeps the bugs out. And I know you want to get insects in here to pollinate certain things, but see like there's, there's gaps around here, which isn't not that big of a deal, but underneath the door, all these things make a difference in the end. In my future greenhouses that I build, I can most certainly assure you it is not going to have any of these holes like this. And any of the any of the ventilation that I put in will be mechanically controlled, whether a thermostat or a switch or something that I can turn. It can't I cannot have anything like this again. I definitely never want to go through this again. This was definitely a big time problem. I don't even want to go in my chicken coop over there. I don't even want to go in that thing because that thing's probably filled with rats and stuff and God knows what's living in there. I'm like, got to go in there with my shotgun and make sure that I'm not going to get bitten by anything. So God knows what's in there. But anyway, that's just my rant on the vermin problem that I had in here and the problems they were digging up all my seeds, pulling everything out. I plant it the next day I come out here and my seeds were all dug up. All my seeds were dug up. In fact, a couple of these that were dug up, I can't replace because I don't have seeds for them anymore. And the birds dug them up and the rats dug them up and ate them. So they kind of put a damper on me a little bit there. But live and learn, you know. I'm sharing these videos so you can learn from my mistakes, the things that I go through, my troubles. So anyway, I'm going to uh, shoot a little update on my pond while it's still good, I guess. And... You know, maybe show you some of my frogs and whatnot, but all right. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care